my video underneath? Gino, Spelly. All right, Gabby's over there setting up jumps. Is Sophie on? Huh? Sophie up already? No. Sophie on is here. Gino. Gabby likes to set up the jumps just because it's easier for everybody. Gino just about ate the camera. This camera is about to bite the dust, you guys. It's about to happen. Gino just tried to eat it. Remember when you didn't choose me, Chino? Yeah, no more treats for you. No more treats for you. Look at how cute he is. Such a lovely boy. You're such a lovely boy. All right, so this is what we got for today. We got this line here. And then we got this little area over here, but Fiona's making changes. On this pony. Yes. He needs to have a nice forward moving trot at all times now. Now that you're back, it, you give her confidence just being here, so I think she'll be better at it. Good. But it got disguised. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep that big count. Inside leg, push him over, so. That's it, remember, sit slow. Rise big. Look up. That's okay, he'll figure it out, change your rise. It got disguised. The trot is getting better. It got disguised because Gabby called it holding him back before a jump so he didn't jump it. Mm. And then it turned into her holding him back all the, time. all the time. And then... That's okay. A little half halt. Back to the trot. He's just unsure because you've never let him really stretch out. He needs to relearn how to do that. Instead of doing the short little jiggy trot or the canner, we want the nice, relaxed, long trot. You gotta learn how to long trot, girl. Good job, Chino. <laughs> Not you, Gabby. <laughs> yeah, so I noticed a big change after this guy got sick and he came through it. It was like a pivotal turning moment for him. Like he really seems to have settled in finally. Check your eyes after the pulls. Good. Now remember, just because we're going fat uh, longer doesn't mean we need to go faster. So our rising needs to stay rhythmical. That's okay that he keeps breaking to a canner. We'll get there. That's right. He's not taking off on you. There. That right there. That's the one you want. Nice. Now let your hands go forward and breathe. Wow. Look at even her posture already. is so much better. Legs back. I feel like in... Eventually it'll feel like she's not racing. Right now she's feeling like she has to post really fast because he's just going, Oh, what? I'm allowed to go? I know. So he's just it was really hard really watching racing. her pulling him back, pulling him back while you were gone. So we're just going to find the happy medium. Well, that was scary. A really nice canner. Got the feeling from the start You might be the guy who break my heart Hello Hello Even though I took a risk It is worth the while for just one kiss I know I just know it Caught up in the moment Wanna spend every second It's shocking what happens when the coach is away though. Uh -huh. And then I question all of it and then I get all, oh, no, I get these amazing answers <laughs> that make sense. <laughs> but I feel like they're poppycock. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Let's see if we can ride a little straighter through that line. I'm trying. It looks kind of like we're drunk. Gabby, I told you no booze before lessons. Stretch your hands down. That's okay. But notice he can't canter over the trot poles, so he slows down, right? That was better. That was, um, there was a step in between there, buddy. Both of them. Circle. Look at snow falling off the ground. They don't even care anymore. Off the roof? Off the, yeah, off the roof. I say so many things wrong. One more, yep. I want your hands up a little higher and push them forward, my dear. What a good pony. Nope, come on over the poles. I wonder what our horses are thinking now that you're back. Wonder if they're like, yes, finally, someone with a reason. Change your eyes. 
Bring your legs back underneath you and lean forward. That's it. Remember, we're using our thighs. Hold that saddle with your legs, girly. Set your hands down. Breathe out at the first pull. Big breath out. Yes. Good job. We don't have to touch his mouth to slow him down. You know this. Ha! <laughs> Our horse has very good brakes. You should have seen when you were away. Like, I can't even tell you how, how hard it was. That is stunning right there. Stunning. I want you to look up. Put your chin back into your head. Thank you. So that's another thing that was a problem. She still looks down for the lead changes for the to make sure she's on the right diagonal. That's all right. We'll get there. Okay. Lift your chest up. Bring your head back into your spine. So I want you to imagine a stack of plates. Okay. I want you to put a bowling ball on top of the stack of plates. <laughs> if the bowling ball rolls to the front of the stack of plates, what's going to happen? Nothing they're already all broken. Oh. God, God bless you. <laughs> you will never ever they're get sturdy plates. And it rolls to the front of the stack. What happens? Um, they all yeah. That's right. Your head is the bowling ball and the stack of plates is your spine. Put your bowling ball in the middle of the stack of plates. So you have to bring your head back over the middle of your spine. Right now, your bowling ball is sitting on the front of your stack of plates. So let's put it in the middle. That's all you need. There you go. There you go. Change your rise and take a big breath. <laughs> Selfie's over here galloping around <laughs> while we deal with Gabby's bowling ball. There you go. That looks way better, Gabby. If you, and I don't know if you noticed, but when you actually are really straight, you can't hear his front feet hit the ground. He's light. Because your weight is not over top of his shoulders, you're balanced over the middle of his spine as well. You must like that then. There. There, he just goes quiet. Beautiful. All right, girlies, after the pulls, take a walk. Well, they hands forward, breathe out. They accepted the baby very well. Told you you don't need your hands. Look at your sister, Sophie. Notice how just her butt is moving and the rest of her body stays still? I can't help you. <laughs> I know, but I want you to try and mimic her. Try to copy her, okay? Your job is to try and keep the rest of your body still, so make your booty bounce. Her booty is bouncing. Everything else is bouncing with it. I know. You need to segregate. There, that looks better. Way better. No, I'm telling you, like people he doesn't just, care. You know, people are not understanding me. When you left, bend your knees so that booty's got to bounce, honey. They gave up all the things they didn't that were hard. They gave up all the things that that. You're gonna circle at this end around the three red and white jumps. Me? All of you, both of you. Nice chunk out of your shoulder there, buddy. Good it means you're working. Yeah, we found them in the trees. Shoulders up, booty out. Half halt with your breath, not your hands. Long breath, Sophia. I don't want to do it too loud, you know, stop. <laughs> yeah, stop dead. 
I could slow your horse down from here. Me too. <laughs> she does it sometimes just to be mean. <laughs> Working trot! <laughs> Sophia, you went from a really nice two point to a sloppy rising trot. Bring those legs back underneath you. Keep them on. Booty sticks out a little bit. Hands are forward. Every time you go up, use those thigh muscles to help you come down. Thigh muscles. Thigh muscles. I know they burn. Yeah, those ones that you'll be Straight, feeling tonight. Okay. That's better. Work those elbows, Gabby. <laughs> Work those elbows. Put your bowling ball back on your plate. Thank you. Your horse instantly changes. Not yet. We're getting there. You know when you ask, it's always no. Breathe. Find those muscles. Dig down deep. Get a little stronger. I'm not trying to find my muscles where they're finding me. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what's been happening though. Because they've been riding like three times a week at least. Gabby usually oh! four. Hmm. Pat your ponies, let them walk on a loose ring. Yes, please. Let him walk for a moment so he's just chilling. You're quiet. Stack your plates. And go. <laughs> Stack your plates. Yeah, he doesn't like walking. Now he's going to have to get over himself, isn't he? Look, I can do that. Close your fingers. Grip your thighs on the saddle. And you need to grow through your rib cage, Sophie. That's better. This part of your body is to stay tight and tall. Is anybody else in the audience uh, tightening and lengthening their body? <laughs> I want to ride. Thumbs on top, Gabby. Get a little elbow sticking out there. Up in your light seat, kiddo. I might have a lesson on Storm. All right. Your pony is leaning, Sophia. That means that we are leaning. Step up into your outside stirrup. Lift your inside rein and push him over with your inside calf. That means you actually have to put your leg on and tell him to move over. Thank you, good girl. When you put your leg on, breathe out so he doesn't anticipate faster. There. Try to keep your legs steady. Soften your knee. Tighten your thigh and calf. Half halt and breathe and release. Half halt, breathe and release. Your baby's first words are going to be half halt, breathe and release. Heels down. Oh, yeah. Look up. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Sophia, tighten your body and grow taller. If your pony is racing, what should you do? Breathe. Good. Tighten your thighs when you breathe out. Yeah. So, Sophia, ride that trot for a minute. Just let him go. Just let him have that nice big trot for a second. Yeah. Half halt. Breathe. Big breath. Bigger breath, like you're going to walk. Now go rise. Yep. Leave his mouth alone. Tino, pull into the center and walk. That way Finn's not chasing you. There. Let a girl breathe out. Look at that nice loose rein and that nice trot. Look up. Lift your inside rein a little bit. Breathe out. There. Breathe out. There you go. You're almost there, kiddo. Tighten your thighs. I want you to sit on the front of your saddle. Breathe. She's like, I am breathing. <laughs> this is such good exercise. Big breath. And without touching the reins, walk. What a good pony. He is a good pony. He what a good pony. He was getting too fast. Yes, part of it is he chases. Good boy. <laughs> now, big half, big breath, and let him go.
Yeah, I just wanna be right next to you. But in the middle. Outside rain, outside rain, outside rain, outside rain. Look straight ahead. Batter. I can pull him or else he would have taken the dangerous long dog. I saw that. Taking this airplane too much at the inside. Look up, two, one. Lovely. Thorns lead changes have gotten really good. Outside leg. We're gonna get the hind end. And ask. Thank you. Half hold. She hasn't done them with him in a while because she feels it awkward in this one, Lorena. We're gonna come off the line. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, easy two. Yeah. Right in between, a one, two. Stuck in the middle. This is the course. Yeah, Prince has been pretty good right there. How straight can you ride? Put your horse in the middle of the fences. It is important. Good add. Push him again. Side leg. Push him. Step him up. There. One, two, three. Go. One, two, go. Lead change. Excellent. Look. Outside leg. Look to your left. Use the corner. Step him out. Look. Outside leg. Push him in. Step him up. Lovely. Good reach. I want you to quietly come across the diagonal leg, yielding him with your right leg. Right rein, right leg. Right rein, right leg. Good. Good job. Look up. Circle. That's okay. It's because you didn't get your lead till late. Balance. Look ahead. One, two, breathe out. Batter. He's just got a little rushy there. Outside leg, half halt, breathe out. Okay, oh. we got recovery here on one more fence. Don't ride into the pace and bury him. Breathe, lift his shoulder. Batter. Ride that one one more time and don't twist your body. Keep your body straight. Don't bury him. One, two, yeah. Way nicer. Give him a pat. He knocked his front feet just because you two pointed in there early. That's all. Well done, ladies. Sweet ponies out. Good job. Good lesson. Don't you know that you're beautiful?